What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, reliable AMT, make sure to hit up my sponsor and use code BUGS for 5% off checkout. Links down below in the description. Hit them up right now. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video and guys today we are going to go over the market as per usual. Before we get into this video make sure to smash that like button. Drop the sub if you are new because if you do smash that like button, comment down below and drop the sub you will qualify for a 100,000 MT giveaway that we are doing Thursday. I'm actually thinking it's going to be a 200,000 MT giveaway so make sure to like the video. Um, also, man, if we have 50 likes in this video, we will add a, an additional 100k to that giveaway. Not only that, man, we are selling MT. We are also doing all grinding services. So if you need MT, if you need grinding services done, make sure to hit me up on Instagram or Twitter. And uh, yo, let's get right into this market talk. Uh, we're going to start grinding right after we do make this video for all the new challenges and whatnot. So without further ado, y'all, let's get right into it. So today... We are going to go over the market, we're going to go over pricing, we're going to go over what you guys should be sniping, all that good stuff. So, looking at my man, Manu Ginobili. Manu Ginobili is up in value big time, guys. There's two left on the market for buyout. This is some good news for the Manu Ginobili investors. Me, personally, I have two Manu Ginobili's left. I think it's kind of risky, but my man, Manu Ginobili, my man, Manu Ginobili is up big time in value. And you know what that means? I think he might rise to a bid. So let's see how many are on the auction. And not only that, man, Dominique Wilkins is up there in value too. Manu Ginobili with the shoe and contract is 31 minutes left, guys. There's literally like no Manus up here in the auction. So seems like a lot of people are investing in the man Manu. If you guys want, it's a little risky. I might wait till Friday to scoop up another one. You could scoop up one today. Like I said, it is a little risky. I'm not totally sure if you want to pick them up, but that's just one of the players I do want to show. If you guys want to sell now, if you don't want to take the risk, or you want to pick one up, not today, maybe tomorrow, maybe Friday. But uh, Mr. Dominique Wilkins, there is six, seven on the auction block. Seven Dominique Wilkins. Think about that, guys. So I'm going to compare Dominique Wilkins. This one's selling for 135 with 31 minutes left. Let's take a look right here, man. Gold 24, 5 Hall of Fame. If you think about it, man. Sir Dominique Wilkins right here. Sir Dominique Wilkins, okay? This guy right here. My Dominique Wilkins comparing to his. He's already at 135. I got mine for around 110, 120. He's up big time. If you guys want to sell now, it's not a bad time, but... I kind of do recommend holding onto the card a little bit longer. I think it's definitely worth the wait. I don't think it's worth selling just yet. Dominique Wilkins is most definitely a hold for now. But if you want to make the MT, if you're broke, you need the MT, you could sell them. It is not a bad time to do so. Pretty much a lot of cards on the auction are a big time value. LeBron James is around 200k MT, guys. This LeBron James is not that good, to be honest. There's a way better, there's way better cards. My opinion, man, Giannis is better. I badged the hell out of my Giannis. Put a freaking shoe on him. He's a literal goat. He's got more all fames, more goals. He definitely has less silvers, and he has more bronzes. This Giannis, guys, this is one. This is the, probably one of the best cards you're gonna get for now. He's literally, literally goaded. And guys, Magic Johnson around 100k MT, like with a shoe. I kind of want to snag that. I really do, but I'm not gonna do that, guys. I think Magic Johnson does drop to a buyout very soon not sure why i think the card is very good uh i guess he just could get have a little bit better defense that's the way i see it he doesn't have the best defense out there i don't know why this is not working but he is pretty much a buyout now it's really not worth picking up the man magic johnson honestly i wouldn't he's honestly i would sell him before he does drop in value but yo we're gonna go over the athens 20 filter because i noticed something the glitch was going crazy on this filter and um Yo, I'm telling you right now, this Amethyst 20 filter was going insane, especially on Friday with the glitch and everything. And if you guys have been using the auction house glitch, make sure to let me know in the comments. I would like to know. But yo, the Amethyst 20 glitch on Friday was going crazy with LeBron James. Is this filter still to this day is still goaded, man? There is so many snipes going around. Whether it's LeBron James, whether it's AD, whether it's Kevin Durant, whether it's Curry, whether it's Giannis. This filter right here is cash. Even Harden's a snipe because shooting guards 
lock in for Mr. CJ McCollum. I've been seeing a lot of snipes on here, and if you guys did invest in any Amethyst 20s, it's time to sell them. Um, we're going to go over another filter that you guys should be doing, shooting guards, um, shooting guard Amethyst, man. Um, shooting guard Amethysts are pretty rare, considering the fact they do lock in for the man, um, Michael Cooper. And uh, honestly, Richie Gearing for 13k, I might scoop that up, and I might... I have a really good feeling he's going to rise up in value because he does have XP challenges with him. People might need that in the end for Mr. Blake Griffin. So, honestly, if you could try to snipe out some Richie Gurrens, he does lock in for CJ McCollum in this season. So, it's not a bad idea to scoop him up or snipe him. So, if you guys want, definitely not a bad idea. That 13,500 was a pretty good snipe. You couldn't really make MT now, but maybe in the future. And not only that, this card is a budget baller. People would pay like 18k for this card. So if you guys want, if you could snipe out a couple, honestly, be my guest. It's not a bad idea. It's just worth the hold. It's not worth selling now. It's most definitely worth holding. So Richie Guerin is definitely up there. We're going to go over a couple other cards. Let's see what we got on the diamond stage. So we got Paul George. We got John Stockton. Let's go over Mr. Timmy Duncan. Everyone thinks, a lot of people think he's good. Me, in my opinion, I think he's trash. I know a lot of people are going to say, you're so dumb, bro. He's not trash. You're just bad 2K. To be honest, man, I don't like slugs. I hate slugs. So, like, for my centers, I'd rather run Yao Ming than Tim Duncan. Personally, Tim Duncan is only 6'11". He can't run the 4. He's 6'11". So, if he goes up against Yao, he's getting clamped. He's not fast enough. He's not fast enough. His jump shot is atrocious. I know people say, bro, no centers are fast. Carly Towns is a lot faster than Tim Duncan. And I will compare that. And, of course, it shows his power forward. But I just wanted to get that out of the way, man. If you have Tim Duncan, sell him. I bought him for 300 KMT. I don't know why. I ended up didn't doing the solos, and then I sold him for 250. I lost, I lost about 60k, guys. 60k just for Tim Duncan. Maybe 80k after the reduction. I lost about 80k for one freaking card. Do you understand how mad I am? Oh, like that much MT for one card, guys. These challenges really do like. They really do bring your MT count, guys. They really bring down your MT count big time. Like, once you do your solos, like, let's say you pull your, let's say you pull a Tim Duncan, you get those solos done as soon as possible. You throw them up in the auction. Because if you don't, man, when new packs come out and you do solos and you try to pick up a card, like, for instance, man, Oscar Robertson, he went down in value so fast. Like, it kind of hurts. It really kind of hurts. But right now, man, what should you be doing? You should probably sell your cards. It's most definitely a good time to do so. I'm going to go over a couple more snipe filters in this video. All right, so pretty much, guys, what else should you be doing right now in 2K? Honestly, badges are really big right now. To me, like to, for me, I've been trying to snipe out clamps for a very long time. Clamps and range extender is very big this year. Like bronze clamps for 13K, honestly, I feel like that's an investment. Not going to lie, it sounds crazy. But Clans for 13k, guys, if you put that on Blake Griffin or Giannis or something, that really does change the card from like an A to an A-plus card, especially at this stage of the game. So I'm going to be trying this night Clans, Range Extender. Those cards are extremely key to success in this game. If you notice, guys, if you have cards at Range Extender, you have such an advantage, like the biggest advantage. So... For 12,500 guys, I'm going to pick up my bronze range extender. I sound crazy. I might be dumb as hell. But for me, range extender really does make a difference. I would recommend trying to snipe my man range extender or the man clamps. Because it's just definitely, it's, just, it's a very good idea. But realistically, man, other than that, for this video, we pretty much just want to go over to snipes. We, You literally could sell every card you have. Every card you have besides Dominique. I'd say Dominique goes up even higher. Not a bad time to sell Dominique or Mono Ginobili, though. So I can't even say you literally could sell every card. Any card you picked up center on Friday, guys, is up big time. You guys just have to sell. The market is dead. I'll be grinding some spotlight challenges. I'm thinking about streaming. If you guys want to stream, make sure to let me know in the comments. That is all we got for the video. Make sure to like it up, sub it up, all that good stuff. Hope you guys did enjoy. Have a good one. Peace. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure to hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. I am buying and selling MT. Hit me up right now.